What's up guys, it's Michaela. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you guys how I got to where I am today, how I figured out I want to major in marine biology and spend the rest of my life as a whale nerd. Um, I saw a few people do this on like TikTok, so I thought, hey, let's make a YouTube video about it. So I'm just going to be talking about how I got interested in the ocean and everything that has led me up to this point in time right now. So I will say I will be talking a lot about SeaWorld in this video because SeaWorld has had a lot of influence on my life. So if you don't wanna hear that, exit out, I won't be offended. But I hope you guys enjoy and let's dive in. So I just want to start out by saying I grew up in Orange County, California. I was 30 minutes from the beach, so I was always at the beach pretty much every weekend and more in the summertime. I have always had an appreciation for the ocean and I hope to raise my kids to have the same appreciation I do. But I've been swimming in the ocean my whole life. I have been surfing. I have been snorkeling and scuba diving and anything that has to do with the ocean has my name on it and I have done it. Now that we have that out of the way, let's move on to what really influenced me to be a marine biologist and that's SeaWorld. I don't like them, I don't support them anymore. I do support the research and conservation work and the rescue work. However, I do not support keeping whales or dolphins in a concrete tank. If you guys wanna hear more about my feelings towards SeaWorld, you can go ahead and click the card up here. I still don't know which side it pops up on, but it'll be here. My story with SeaWorld starts when I was two years old. I went to SeaWorld for the very first time. I'm gonna try and find pictures. I know I have pictures of my experiences like later on at SeaWorld. And I had a picture from my first time at SeaWorld, but I'm not 100% sure if it's on my phone or if it's down at home in California. So if I can find a picture, it'll be on the screen, but if not, I'm sorry. SeaWorld was always a thing that my brother, my mom and I would do when we were bored one summer day or me and my brother really wanted to go and it was a treat for summer vacation, but we never went more than once every couple years. And one day in 2013, I don't know what brought me to it, I don't know how I found it, but for some reason, I found the SeaWorld community on Instagram. Like I said, don't know how I found it, don't know how it got there, it just popped up one day. And I will find the page that I found that brought me to the SeaWorld community. So I found this page and I was like, wait, I actually really, really like this page and I wanna make one of my own. So I made one of my own, which is now my photography account, Cetacean Nation. It is obviously no longer SeaWorld related, but I made that account and I saved up for my own camera so I could go to SeaWorld and take pictures and post them on my SeaWorld photography page. I remember my mom being like, why all of a sudden do you wanna to go to SeaWorld so bad? Like, you have never wanted to go this bad. And I told her, I was like, I just really wanna see killer whales, like I wanna see the orcas and the dolphins. So I was 13 when I found the SeaWorld community. Actually, I might have been 12. Either 12 or 13, I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure I was 13. So I was young. So one day at the end of seventh grade, I was scrolling on SeaWorld's website. As I did, I stalked their website pretty much every single day. It's really embarrassing. And I noticed that they did SeaWorld camp. And so I told my mom, I was like, mom, can I please go to SeaWorld camp? She was like, okay, if you get an A in math this year, you can go to SeaWorld camp. So you bet your bottom dollar that I tried my very hardest to get an A in math. And I got an A in math and that was the first and the last time that will ever happen for the rest of my life. But unfortunately, I found SeaWorld Camp too late and the only week that was open was the week we were going on our family vacation. So I could not go to SeaWorld Camp and I was devastated. I cried, my heart, my little 13 year old heart was broken. So I did the Beluga interaction and this is what like solidified. I was like, I want to be a marine biologist now. I want to work at SeaWorld and I want to train Shamu. I wanted to be a Shamu trainer. So after my beluga whale interaction, the obsession went from here to up here. Like it got really bad. I spent 
all of my birthday money, all of my Christmas money, all of every single dollar that I earned from like age 13 to age 15 on doing SeaWorld interactions. And I would go all the time, well, as much as my mom would drive me. I lived around two hours away from SeaWorld. So to drive two hours really isn't bad, but to have your mom have to drive you two hours, I had to like bribe her to drive me down there. So I went probably once every two or three months and I would just sit and Shamu underwater viewing and be like mesmerized by these orcas. And I was able to tell you that's Kalia, that's Makani, that's Nakai, that's Aikaika, that's Ulysses, that's Keat, and that's Kasatka, that's everybody. I knew what every single whale looked like and I knew their personalities and I knew how to tell them apart. And I had a book. I made a book about SeaWorld's killer whales. Like how to identify them, their history, and all this other stuff. If only I cared that much about like chemistry or like biology or like one of my college classes. There he is again. There's a bald eagle flying outside my room. They're so beautiful, I love them. <laughs> Anyways, between the ages of 13 and 15, I spent all my money on SeaWorld merchandise, encounters, going to SeaWorld, I don't even want to know how much money I have spent and given to SeaWorld at this point because that number will probably be astronomical. I remember I was always terrified to have people find out that I liked SeaWorld and that I was so infatuated with their killer whales and I was able to tell them apart. And I had like a binder, my school binder obviously, and it had pictures of like Nakai and Kalia and Kasatka on it. And people are like, what's that? And I'm like, nothing. And I would like run away. No wonder people thought I was weird. But anyways, I would have my binder and I had a whole wall in my room filled with pictures of SeaWorld killer whales. I had a shrine, basically, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Once I turned 15, I got a boyfriend, I started going out with friends, and I started dating, and I SeaWorld just got pushed way back to the burner, and I actually did not return to SeaWorld until I was 17, or 18. I was actually 18, after I was 18 years old. In between like 15 and 18 years old, I wanted to be an ER trauma surgeon. <laughs> that could be because I was watching Grey's Anatomy at that point in time, but I wanted to work in the medical field. I just like abandoned the whole marine biology Shamu trainer idea. I abandoned ship and I wanted to be an ER trauma surgeon. Could y'all imagine me going to medical school? I couldn't. So let's fast forward to age 18. I found my old SeaWorld pictures and I was like, oh my gosh, I miss this. Life was so good. Life was so happy. And I kind of told my boyfriend everything. I was like, you know, hey, um, there's a little secret that you don't know about me. And I spilled everything to him. And I know, I know Casey thought I was a freaking weirdo. We were already dating for like six months and he goes, well, I can't really break up with you for that now. So let's go. So we both got SeaWorld passes and we would go all the time for inside look, just summer, summer days that we were bored and it was so fun. And I genuinely got back into SeaWorld and I loved being able to show my boyfriend the SeaWorld community. Well, besides all the crazy groupies. I was never a crazy groupie. And if you're a groupie watching this, I'm sorry, but stop, y'all need to stop. For my 19th birthday, I did another beluga whale interaction. I don't know why that is what I wanted for my 19th birthday. I can't tell you now at this point in time why I wanted that but I did and I did it and it was fun. I mean, looking back at these pictures, it's very sad. It is so incredibly sad to see these beluga whales subjected like this, but I did it for my 19th birthday. And then summer of 2019, I did SeaWorld summer camp. If you guys haven't seen that video on my channel, go ahead and check it out. I vlogged the entire week of SeaWorld Camp and it's like an hour long video. I met one of my best friends through SeaWorld Camp and I will forever be thankful for her and for our friendship. But I paid over $2,000 to go to SeaWorld Camp and it was very, very fun. But at that point in time, I started kind of being like, oh, maybe I don't wanna work in a captive facility. Maybe I don't wanna work at SeaWorld. And it wasn't even the fact that I didn't support SeaWorld anymore. It was just the fact that it wasn't entertaining me as much anymore. Like I would go to SeaWorld and sit at the killer whale 
underwater viewing where I could sit for hours and hours before and I would sit for 20 minutes and I'm like, I'm bored. Like, I don't want to watch whales swim around in a circle. So at that point in time after camp, I kind of skewed away from SeaWorld again. I was still posting on my account, but I didn't really go as much. I think I went one time after camp and that was just to get pictures to post on my photography page. But yeah, summer 2019, I just started slowly realizing this really isn't what I want to do and this really isn't what I want to work with for the rest of my life. But January of 2020, I did an Orlando trip with my best friend at the time and we did Disneyland, or sorry, and we did Disney World and we did SeaWorld Orlando. And I did not have fun at SeaWorld Orlando. I had fun in the sense that it was, it was cool, like I was on vacation, but I sat there and watched the shows and I was like, this is sad. I don't wanna be here and I will never go to SeaWorld ever again. And I vowed to myself, I was sitting in Shamu Stadium at SeaWorld Orlando watching their new Orca encounter and I said to myself, Michaela, you will never go to SeaWorld again or you will never go to any of the SeaWorlds ever again. And it was solely because I just did not have fun anymore. It was not fun. It, I felt bad for the animals and at that point I slowly started realizing, you know, I don't like watching whales swim in a circle in a concrete pool. I don't like seeing people ride on dolphins backs and you know, I just not my thing anymore. After my January 2020 trip, I never went back and I still have not gone back over a year later. And I, like I said, I don't support SeaWorld anymore. I have no problem with people who do support SeaWorld. It takes all kinds to make the world go round. People are entitled to their own opinions in every aspect, even if it is orca captivity. One of my best friends still goes to SeaWorld and wants to work in a captive facility. It's okay, it is okay. We need people that want to work and take care of these animals. So it's a-okay, just not my thing anymore. So now let's move on to outside of SeaWorld. So outside of the whole SeaWorld community, in April of 2019, I got accepted to be a volunteer at the Aquarium of the Pacific and I started volunteering there and I was an education volunteer so I would stand at every exhibit and talk about the animals and fun facts about the animals and everything about the animals in that certain exhibit and I loved that but that also taught me hey like I don't really want to work in an aquarium setting for my whole life. I actually really love the Aquarium of the Pacific. I would not mind working there between my bachelor's and my master's program. I love it. I love AOP. It's my home aquarium. They are the best. The people there are amazing. So if you ever get the chance to go there while you are vacationing in Southern California or you're a local wanting to check it out for the first time, Definitely do it. I think they are open now with the COVID situation. I think they are open. They've opened and closed like four times, but yeah, go ahead and check it out. It's really, really great. And I will leave the website down below. Now that we're on the topic of aquariums, I have been to so many aquariums. I've been to the Long Beach Aquarium, Monterey Bay, Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, and I went to one in Okinawa, Japan. And the one in Okinawa, Japan was really, really big. I think it's the second or third largest in the world. I loved that aquarium so much. It was just so amazing. But I found out a couple years ago, they get their dolphins and their pilot whales from the Dolphin Drive in Taiji, Japan. So now I hate myself for supporting that, but I didn't know, 12 year old Michaela didn't know for, that she was supporting that SeaWorld and aquariums heavily influenced my love and my want to be a marine biologist. After the SeaWorld 2020 trip, I told myself I will never go back, like I said. And after that, I actually got hired on my whale watching job. And that has just been so amazing. I'm so excited to go back home in a couple weeks and work there again and to work there during the summer. I'm so, so, so excited. But working on the whale watching boat also really opened my eyes. I was like, wow, dolphins really don't belong in tanks. So yeah, it is safe to say SeaWorld did influence my love for marine biology. And I don't really like saying that, but it's the truth. And I know a lot of people studying marine biology have the same 
path and have the same story that they went to SeaWorld as a kid growing up a lot and now they want to be a marine biologist. And as much as people hate SeaWorld, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for SeaWorld. SeaWorld does a lot of bad, but they also do a little bit of good and you guys always need to look at the good. You can't overlook the good and just look at the bad. So that was my story about how I wanted to become a marine biologist. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.